Hello world, hola mundo, hello mon. We're here taking a cappuccino today at the concert house in Vienna with uh, Marcus Seyman and Manfred Hecken uh, that have organized a wonderful meeting in which basically the kidney meets the heart and meets the music. And uh, we would like to interview them rather quickly asking to Marcus first of all about uh, the concept of diastolic dysfunction and how this impacts uh, kidney disease and vice versa. Yeah, thank you, Claudio. Um, we think now that as nephrologists um, we have to focus more on the principle of diastolic dysfunction rather than left ventricular hypertrophy. And we have to interact maybe more with cardiologists and think more in cardiological terms. And we have a lot of work ahead of us, both in the chronic kidney disease population, hemodialysis patients, and also renal transplant patients. This is an important concept because we were used to speak about hypertrophy, uh, low cardiac output, and a new kind of concept is now entering uh, the cardionephrology, especially cardiac syndrome type 4. So at this point, uh, you have published recently a paper on fluid overload and you have a special theory about this. Can you just tell us quickly? Yes, so we have uh, actually published a consensus paper um, for dialysis patients on the difference between interdelivic weight gain and chronic fluid overload. So I'm not um, the person who is in charge of finding out who was the first one to find out that chronic fluid volume overload is actually associated with dramatically um, worse outcomes. Uh, so these people are Bietzemann and, um, and Babel uh, using bioimpedance spectroscopy. But the concept of fluid volume overload in our patients is incredibly uh, important um, because um, it is a modifiable practice that we can improve in dialysis patients in, in order to make their lives better. Uh, what we have um, recently published um, with a wide group of international co-authors is that fluid overload by far surpasses interdialytic weight gain as a matter of outcomes. So dialysis doctors need to rethink, um, start um, thinking fluid overload and not so much worry about interdialytic weight gain. Or so this is... As you have seen from the concert house in Vienna, practically today both in chronic hemodialysis, in chronic peritoneal dialysis, and in the acute patient, uh, there is an extreme need uh, to assess dry weight. And this is normally done with bioimpedance method. In chronic hemodialysis, we have seen the publication from the group of Vienna. In peritoneal dialysis, there is the iPod PD study and initiative that was presented in Madrid. And in the acute patient, uh, our own institute uh, is performing an interesting study to demonstrate how bioimpedance can be useful in acutely ill patients. With this, I thank you very much for joining today Cappuccino from Vienna and Vicenza and have a nice day. Ah, excellent.